Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. Welcome to another episode. I'm your co-host, Ellen, along with my co-host, Lee Silber, L-E-E-S-I-L-B-E-R. Thank you for that. That was very clear and concise, but I don't know why. Well, I thought, because it's happened to me more than once in the recent weeks where I feel like I'm communicating what I want, what I need, and what I'm asking for, and what I'm trying to convey, and then it comes back. (laughs) <laughs> different than what I put out, meaning, and then it's caused problems that have wasted time because I didn't spend the extra, I'm blaming myself, by the way, I yeah. didn't blame the, I didn't spend the extra minute or 60 or 30 seconds to say, so what we agreed upon is, or what I'm asking for, or what you're going to do, meaning I didn't close strong and I didn't get it in writing. So you, you mean, assumed, yes. you assumed, assumed that they understood. Yeah, that's a tough one because we all do that. We have a picture in our mind of what is happening and the other person can't see that picture. Yeah. They don't know where we're coming from. Yeah. And so my theory is, and it comes from me coaching baseball and football, I would tell my kids, look, you know, you should always support your teammate and, and hope they're going to make the play in front of you, but you should assume that they won't. So oh, that wow. way, if somebody in front of you doesn't make the tackle, you're in a position to clean that up and make the tackle. In baseball, you're in the outfield. Assume that the infielder is going to miss the ball and you're already charging and ready to scoop it up and make a play. You're not, it's not a, you're not like all negative, like they're never going to make the play, but you're just in a position to, in case they don't, come and be the hero or solve right, the problem right. or, you know, make it better. And I think with communication, we shouldn't just assume that our first <laughs> thing we say got through, meaning in the very beginning of a request, you know, you might say, oh, and I need to order six of these. And then you get off on some tangent and then, okay, thanks. Bye. I want to say we should finish up with a reminder, a summary, a conclusion, something to make sure that we're both on the same page because that saves time. Exactly. Exactly. Because we do assume that that the other person gets what we're saying because in our head we filled in all the blanks, but they, they didn't even know there were blanks there and they couldn't fill them in. And they went with their own blanks being filled in. Uh, The other day I was having a conversation with my husband and I was trying to explain where something was downtown. I'm like, this new place is downtown. And, and I said, you know, and then he's like, I don't, I don't understand where. And I said, it's by the library. Well, we've got like 13 libraries in town. And in my head, I'm like, well, how can you be that dense? It's by the library. But I didn't say which one, and and he's not a library goer, so he's not, you know, as as punched in as where all the libraries are. If I would have just said the downtown library, he would have known where we were, where I was talking about. But I just assumed that he understood, and I assumed that I had said that I was clear, that I was, hello, of course I was clear. Every time I talk, it's clear, right? Yeah, clear as mud. So, yeah, I assumed that didn't work well. So let's assume that they that we didn't communicate as clearly as we thought and that they didn't understand it as well as we thought so that we make it a point to reiterate, reaffirm and and reconnect the from the beginning of what we were talking about to the end. And Yeah. And I just think that when it comes to communication, you know, you and I are both rebuilding our websites and I've realized, you know, a lot of this text and things people aren't going to read it. I need to make it big, bold, and easy to understand. And so I just think we, I'm not saying dumb it down, but simplify it. Simplify. Yep, absolutely. That's different we, than dumbing it down. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's connecting all of the dots. And, and I think that is, it, that if we boil down what we're talking about right now, it's to connect all the dots for all of the parties that are concerned. That there's no, nothing just floating out there that you're like, oh, of course they understand that. No, they don't. They don't. Why would they understand something that, that you've just come up with? So you have to connect the dots for everyone concerned. And I am a, still a paper person. When I say write it down, I will probably write it down on a post-it yeah. note. But I mean 
put it in writing in some form, whether it's a text or some an email or something, so that fortunately, if it's a dispute or something, you can come back and say, well, this is what you wrote. This is what we yeah. agreed on. I mean, I know that sounds just because I think by writing it down, it's another way of driving it deeper. You know, if we both have it, have to write it down. Yeah. We're going to, it's going to sink in a little more. And if it's something written down on a post note, like for me, I could put it on the door for my wife to say, I'm recording the podcast today at 10. Because 10. I assumed she remembered <laughs> that, but she did it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just can't assume that people understand us. And if we make that, take that time, like you talked about, take that moment, we're going to save time. We're going to save frustration for everyone. And that's that's efficient because then we're happier, we get more done. It's 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 a wonderful thing. So again, to reiterate, <laughs> <laughs> to reiterate, assume don't assume that they understand and got exactly what you said. Assume that they don't, and act accordingly. I've got nothing more to add to that. Then I will assume. All of our listeners will be back listening to us again next week. 